So, I want to talk about four points in the role of a father. The first role, I want, uh, point I want to talk about is responsibility. Responsibility. If you ever look at the, the first incident in the Bible between Adam and Eve and the enemy, everybody always tried to cast the responsibility on somebody else. When God came to Adam and he said, he said, Adam, what have you done? He said, the woman that you gave me, she, she the one who made me. And, and, and then she cast, and then when it went to, well, 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 the devil, he cast the responsibility, she cast the responsibility on the devil. But really the responsibility was with the man. The responsibility was with Adam. The, the responsibility was with the man, the, the role, the male role model who, who God gave the commandment to. Responsibility. We're living in a world today where a lot of men don't want to be responsible. They want to make babies, but anybody can make a baby. Amen. Just because you make a baby, young men, just because you make a baby doesn't make you a father. That's why I love that scripture where we say, we call him Abba Father, Daddy. Because there's a difference between father and a difference between daddy. See, see, if my children call me father, I would find a problem with it. Hi, father, 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 where are you going, father? I would have a problem with that. But when my children come to me and say, I love you, daddy. Daddy is a more personal, intimate word. It lets me know that I, I have a connection with them. That's the same word in, in, in the Aramaic, uh, Aramaic, which means uh, a daddy, Abba, daddy, daddy. There's an intimacy there. But today we live in a society where, 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 where children don't know their fathers intimately. So anybody can make a baby. Making babies don't make you a father. You don't get a card for being a father. You get a card for being a daddy. You don't get a tie for being a, a, a father. No, you get a tie for being a daddy. You don't get underwear for being a, a, a... No, you get underwear for being a daddy. They're thinking about you because you have made an impact on their life. Amen? So responsibility. Number two, the role of a father. The role of a father is to set an, an, an example of excellence. To set an example of excellence. One of the key things that a father should do is set higher expectations for their children. When your child comes home, and this is the kind of stuff that I hear. Well, you know, they gotta, they gotta see See, a father's job is not to just say, no, settle for a C. But, but don't you know that there's a B and an A before there's a C? Amen. Amen. Don't settle. Don't clap and give them applause. Yes, appreciate that they are working, but always let them know you can do a little bit better. See, in our Amen. communities, we, we have settled. We have settled for less. We have settled for so much less. And why not be the best you can be? You have to yes. settle. Of excellence, don't settle for less. Our expectations, are, when, when, when your expectation is too low, I, I you know I think about my my mother. We grew up. My father left when I was six. Grew up on welfare, relying on government assistance. Uh, you know, getting the free cheese. And the free powdered milk, amen. And I and I remember all of that. But just because our situation wasn't the greatest situation, I better not have kept, kept bringing B's and, and C's and D's in the house. There was my mother who had to take the role of a father, which she didn't have to do. She had to become hard. And she had to let us know, this is unacceptable. You have to do better than this. I'm not going to applaud you for bringing home C's and D's. No, you have to do better than this. You have to set and accept. That's the role of a father. Don't settle for less. Even on your jobs. 
I, you know what I admire, what I admire, I, 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 I'm a learner. I'm a learner. I watch people on my job. And be, be, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a learner. I remember when I first joined the military and I came into boot camp and I would listen to all of the Caucasian brothers. They would say, uh, my dad bought me a car. My dad bought me a car. It would say stuff like, hey, you know, uh, yeah, my, my, me and my dad would work on the car. I ain't had no daddy to work on no car together. You know, yeah, I, I cut the grass. Me and my dad would go out there work in the yard, we work in the barn, you know. And, and I just always admired that, you know. I wanted that. I envied them. Because I, I always said, I want, I, I, I just longed for, to, for that companionship with my father. But it, it, it made me become a learner. Because I wanted to see what it is they, they had that I didn't have. So I watch them. And when I go on my job today and, and, and I ask questions, I want to know how do you invest? You know, what's the difference between a G fund and an L fund? I want to know. I want to know. I want to be. I, 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 I'm pressing. I'm learning. Why? Because I don't want to settle for less. Amen. If they can do it, I can do it. If he can do it, I can do it. If she can do it, I can do it. So I, I go to my job and I see them. Here they are. They, we all in the, in the shop making $24, $25, $26. Supervisor making $32 an hour. Everybody making good money. And, and, and if I had the wrong mindset, I'd be walking around and say, I made it. But I watch, I watch them. They're on the internet. They're looking for another job. Even though they got it good. They're looking for another. In other words, we can do better. And that's a, so guess what I do? I get on the internet right with them. And I'm right there, right next to them. I say, you, you know, Charlie, guess what? <laughs> did, you, you, did you see this job? Did you see that job? Yeah, but, 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 I'm, I'll put my resume in for that. And I, I'm looking for something better. I'm not going to settle for less. Amen. Amen. Now some people say, oh, hey, you're making all right money. What are you? No, no. If, 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 if I'm going for the best. Amen. That's right. So you got to set an, an attitude of uh, excellence. That, that has to be built in you. And then a father has to instill excellence in their children. Don't settle for less. Amen? My, my daughter, she struggles with, uh, she deals with epilepsy. And I know she does, but when she come in the house with a B, I, let her, I still let her know. There's no excuses. You got to take it up higher. There's no excuses. Well, guess what we got to do? We got to dig a little deeper. Now, but you know, and the teacher say, well, she's doing really well. It, it ain't good enough. I want to see the A. Amen? Yes. Amen. Because that's what a father does. Amen? A, a father sets an example of excellence. It, it, it don't, no limitations. Some people say, well, my, you know, and, my, and my wife, who's a nurturer, that's her job. But you know, this is really, this is good. It ain't good enough. See, that's the job of a daddy. How many of you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Well, you know she missed a certain amount of year, uh, days this this year. Da, da, da. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But but when, when she misses it, guess what? You, you got to work on it at home. Yes. That's my job as a daddy. We set an example of excellence. Now now we now now these are some of the things that we hear today in in our communities. Well, at least I'm not in jail. We settle for that one. Well, you, well, you, well, you know, he's, he's doing good. At least he's never been to jail before. We say, well, well, well you know, uh, well, you know, I don't run the streets. At least I'm in the house. That, that, that's supposed to be good. That's the kind of stuff we hear today. Well, you know, uh, he only been to jail one time. The, the right attitude is you ain't supposed to be in jail. Amen. You're supposed to have a, a better expectation of yourself. But well, you know, I just smoke weed. Now, I don't do meth and I don't do crack. I just smoke weed. I just smoke, I just smoke weed. That's all I do. Well, you know, I smoke a little weed every now and then. You, you shouldn't be doing no drugs. Amen. Amen. But, but th these are now the expectations that we have. You know, so that's number two. Amen.